In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different one-on-one -on -one basketball drills that you can use with a friend so that you can improve better when it comes to trying to score on a defender. Some of these drills are going to be super easy while others are going to be a little bit more advanced. So let's get down and let's check out these three basketball drills that will help you become a better basketball player in game. Really quickly, if you're a basketball coach, make sure to go check out my practice plans that are down in the description below. Now, in this drill, we want to try and do different crossovers to try and bait the defense into trying to reach. As soon as they reach, we want to try and drive on them. We want to finish at the rim. We don't want to pull for a jump shot. We want to be able to take one or two dribbles max and get to the rim. So as soon as we pass that free throw line, you're going to be limited to only one or two dribbles. And again, the whole idea is to just force that defensive player to get that reach and then you teach. <laughs> in this drill, what we have is David or Erdy going one-on-one -on -one against each other. And the idea here is when I pass the ball out, the defender chases and defends the player on the perimeter. However, when I am passing that ball out, I am yelling shot or drive. If I yell shot, you have to create your own shot, either shoot right away or take one or two dribbles to get a shot. Or if I call drive, you have to get to that rim and score one or two dribbles, no more than three to get your ability to score. The idea here is you need to not always know exactly what you are doing before you get the ball. However, when you are faced with a defender and you have in your head, because we all do it when we're players, which is, I'm driving this next time I get that ball, I see the angle. Well, guess what? What happens if that angle is cut off because you were originally going to drive and now you're not? Well, if you are already dedicated to driving that ball, you need to figure things out. So by having somebody else pre-plan what you're supposed to do, you now need to become more creative in the in that scenario so by becoming more creative in practice as we are right here you're going to be more creative in game as well now in this last drill this is going to be a quick cut drill it doesn't have to be a v cut it can be an l cut backdoor cut whatever it doesn't matter but either way you need to be able to get yourself open and then you need to either take that shot or you need to score as david does right here on Erdy. now he was able to score because he took very few dribbles. He got his shoulders lower than that defenders. And these are all things that we learn, not necessarily in a practice situation, but when we are playing one-on-one. -on -one. We could be telling and yelling play at players as coaches to get your shoulders lower, get your shoulders lower, get your shoulders lower, get that angle, do that hesitation, spin when a defender does this. But it doesn't mean anything unless they get to practice against an actual defender and read what that defender is doing to them during that drill or during that practice. That's why one-on-one -on -one drills are so important for basketball players. If you're a basketball player looking to become a better shooter, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. Really quickly, make sure to comment down below as well as saying to Erdy as well as David that they did a fantastic job and because they worked really hard. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video. Hit that like button and subscribe.